Hey guys, welcome to Soundwaves TV. I am Chasta. We got Dennis. We got Steve. How you doing? How you guys doing? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Uh, 2019 is a pretty freaking big yeah. year. We got a lot going on. Um, it's also the 50th anniversary of Woodstock this year. Seems like every time we turn around, there's another big anniversary. Go, Nothing's going to be cooler than this. I mean, right. this is a big deal. But now all of a sudden, Woodstock 50. That's wow. A pretty freaking. I, you know, big deal. I just want to throw this out there. I haven't heard anybody say, "Hey, I can't wait to go to Woodstock 50." Yeah. Well, I think the thing <laughs> was is everyone was really excited to see who was going to play Woodstock right. 50. Right. I mean, let's be honest. That's quite the bar. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> right? It is the bar. Sure. It, it yeah. changed changed um, festivals, period. Right. I mean, it, it it's the face of festivals. So I think people weren't super excited about the lineup that they chose. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that I personally care that much. I mean, Robert Plant's on the bill, so I'm like, okay, I'm good. Um, if I was on the East Coast at all, I'd probably go. I'm also excited that Robert Plant and Greta Van Fleet are on mm. the same bill, yeah. you know, so that whole right, thing. Cool. Hopefully yeah. they'll jam out together. It's not going <clears> to <throat> happen, but we can, we can hope. I think also, too, you know, a lot of people that go to festivals are younger aged, you know, teens, 20s, early 30s. Those are the people who have energy for festivals. <laughs> but, you know, they don't they don't really know much about Woodstock. No, that's either. a really interesting point in that uh, you're right. The festival culture is a very younger culture mm -hmm. or a more kind of evolved musical culture. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, yeah. It's like, you know, hardly strictly bluegrass, you know, that right. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I'll give the promoters and the organizers of Woodstock 50 some props because they did mix it up. There's a very eclectic selection. Mm -hmm. However, still not enough to make me get on a plane. Yeah, unless you know? Woodstock, if you want to send us some tickets, then That's fine we're too. down. That's we'll fine cover too. it for we'll you. Do it. We'll do it. We're here. I'll tell you, on the other hand, though, if yeah. you look at the 80s festivals that they have over in England, right. you've got people that are my age uh -huh. that are out there dressed to the nines mm -hmm. in the 80s mm -hmm. stuff, and they're there all day for the three-day weekend nonstop. So I don't know if it's an age thing so much. I think that's a whole nother mm -hmm. panel discussion mm -hmm. that we need to have some at some point. Write this down yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Make, a note, festival, make a note of that. We'll remember it. Because festivals in other countries go off in a totally different way that's true. than festivals in the U.S. I mean, that's true. Mm -hmm. Like you're mm -hmm. saying, age isn't an issue, and people get there at noon, and they're there for three days, all day, every day. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a totally different vibe. Be well, sure to tune in to an upcoming episode of Soundwaves <laughs> TV for that exciting at discussion. At some point when we'll talk about that. You know, the other thing about Woodstock that's got this really kind of storied history, it's not just 1969. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that in the 90s, they did this twice. Right. And in 94, it was a big hit. In 99, 99. Not so much. it was kind of a muddy shitstorm with like horror stories of like right. people hopping the gates and, you know, people getting assaulted and raped and all this stuff. And I remember the MTV coverage on that. I remember when MTV <laughs> covered, covered things? things like music festivals. I know, kids, this Besides is Besides Snooki. To yeah. understand. But right. uh, I was watching going, wow, you you just don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what mm -hmm. kind of human element there's going to be. When mm -hmm. all the cameras are watching, you just don't know. That's so true. So that's not my idea of a good time. Yeah. You know, like those 80s festivals, I'm like, I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get like four or five bands I really like, and I'm going to be right there, and I'll watch that. But like, there's such an intangible quality to that whole kind of thing with something like Woodstock. You know? Yeah, that's interesting, because there's so many different genres and right. so many huge mixes of people, ages, sure. types of people. Yeah. Yeah, it, it does make for an interesting mix. Hopefully it won't be the fire Festival of 2019. Here's hoping. Oh, no, Good luck, Woodstock. No, it'll actually happen. Yeah. Like, like that. Exactly. 